Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about how I grew my hair in one year. If you want to know what I do in order to grow my hair, just keep on watching. So my first tip for you to grow out your hair is to stimulate your scalp, okay? You want to make sure that you are massaging your scalp as much as possible as frequently as possible. I was doing this unknowingly because I was washing my hair every day. So my purpose for washing my hair every day was not to stimulate my scalp, it was just because I didn't know how to work my hair. It was a challenge for me and the only way that I knew that it would look somewhat okay was to just wash it and put product in it. So every morning, I would shampoo my hair, shampoo and condition, or just condition some days, but I was in there massaging my scalp. So I was stimulating my scalp without really trying to, and I saw the biggest jump start in my hair growth with just washing my hair every day. I don't recommend you wash your hair every day, that's just what I did. If you want to do it, it's up to you, but I just recommend stimulating your scalp. Tip number three would have to be to drink a lot of water. The more water, the better, okay? So the last place that the water goes to is your hair, your hair, skin, and nails. So if you drink only a glass of water a day, you're really not doing anything for your hair. You're just drinking it to be cute, really. This is not doing anything. So drink lots and lots of water. Another tip would have to be to eat rich, fatty foods. So avocados, nuts, fish, anything that you know is a healthy fat, eat it. This is going to help your hair be more shiny, it's going to help it grow because you're going to have the nutrients to make more hair. So if you're constantly in a diet and you're not consuming the amount of calories that you should be consuming or you're just not eating healthy at all and your body thinks that it's starving, you're just simply not going to grow hair because it's not your body's priority to grow that hair. So it's not going to because it needs the energy to do other things. So make sure you're eating healthy and you're eating the way you're supposed to be eating. So on the same topic, if you are allergic to some foods or you just don't like them, take vitamins. There's a lot of vitamins for healthy hair. It doesn't have to be the gummies that say hair, skin, and nails. You could just do uh, like the fish oil ones. Those are really good because it has healthy fats. Um, yeah. Vitamins, multivitamins, prenatal vitamins. Those are great. Um, just vitamins. get regular trims. So a lot of people like to say that because they're, they're getting trims that your hair is growing faster, that's not necessarily the case. The way that the trims work is that you are not loosing all of the hair that's in the bottom. So you want to maintain this hair as much as possible. So if you have split ends you're naturally going to shed up because they're gonna break off so if you're not cutting them they're gonna cut themselves so you're not retaining any of the length so your hair is growing but you're not seeing it because it's shedding upwards so get regular trims I would recommend every three to four months you should get just a little trim maybe just that much off 
nothing crazy, just a little bit, you are not even gonna notice, I promise. My last tip that I would give or that I did was <clears throat> protective hair styling. So don't do anything crazy to your hair. So don't blow dry it all the time, don't straighten it, don't put it in really, really tight ponytails, just try to keep it as natural as possible. What I was doing is just shampooing my hair, putting product in it, and just letting it be. Just do let your hair do its thing. You will learn how to manage your hair if you don't know how to. For example, I didn't know how to manage my own hair because I had never dealt with my natural curl pattern before. So it'll come. You might look crazy in the beginning, but it'll be worth it. My purpose for growing my hair wasn't to just be natural all the time. It was just to have healthy hair. I just wanted to see how long I could grow my hair and how healthy I could get it um, in order to straighten it and have it be beautiful without any breakage or anything like that. So that was my plan and that's what I did. I grew my hair in a year which was pretty fast and it was because that, that's what I was doing. I was stimulating my scalp, drinking lots of water, making sure I was eating to nourish my body so that way my hair could grow naturally and I was protecting it and doing trims myself. So it's pretty simple to so just, as long as you are taking care of your hair and you are eating the appropriate food that you're supposed to eat to nourish your body or taking supplements if you are not able to eat those types of foods and drinking your water, you are set. Make sure you're stimulating that scalp and drinking your water. And promise you your hair will grow. If it doesn't grow as long as you want it to, it's probably because genetically you can't. Everyone has a certain length that they are able to grow their hair to. So some people are just naturally, they just naturally have really, really long hair and that's in their genetics. Some people could just only grow it to the middle of their back and that is it. But at least you will grow healthy hair. That is the goal, healthy long hair. And then once you have healthy long hair, if you want super super long hair, you can always add extensions. It's really not big of a deal. Just make sure you are not doing anything crazy like putting magic potions into your scalp. You might do more harm than good. So, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Those are my few little tips in order to get long, healthy hair. Thank you so much for watching.